Hi Scorpio, I trust you are well and that you will have an amazing month of Jan and Feb 2022. Um, I've decided to basically do a mid-month to mid-month reading. I used to do monthly to monthly, but the thing is now, sometimes the energy keeps on changing. And then we basically, you know, don't get the necessary information we need in the mid-month and that is why I basically decided I'm going to do mid-month to mid-month so for you you've got second opinion and I'm going to read this for you dear God and Archangel Raphael guide me to the best healthcare professionals for the situation um, this is um, the Archangel Raphael healing gods um this is a general reading it's not going to be it's it's for the collective so it's not going to be for everyone remember that um regarding your love reading and your valentine's reading i will be doing intimate love readings valentine's readings um the link will be in the description box below regarding your valentine's reading and intimate love reading the link will be called Moments or Ribbon. Surrender your need to be always right. I'm going to read this for you. Give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationships. Okay, let me see what the unicorns for you, Scorpio. Um, oops. Yeah, remember to check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, um, because that will give you a clear perspective and picture towards what might, you know, happen mid month to mid month for you. Okay, for Scorpio, pets. Okay, I'm going to read this for you. You love and understand animals. This is really a beautiful card. You love and understand animals. Okay. So you can see with um, the angel answers. Okay. Okay, so a big decision and a choice, Scorpio, is up to you this month. It is up to you to make this choice. It is up to you to move forward, to move away. We'll see now. Um, what else? For Scorpio. Okay. Okay, so there's great fortune for you, awaiting for you. It can be regarding inheritance. Regarding a person of eye honor that you'll meet or currently have in your life. Um, this can be you as well. That there's great fortune waiting for you. Um, great fortune, remember. Wealth is different types. It can be your health. Um, great fortune can mean, um, like I said, inheritance. It can be policies. It can be bonds got the clover this is really beautiful for you Scorpio and regarding the clover it is telling me um, that luck gamble so you possibly need to take a gamble or make a gamble on something or someone because there can be great fortune but you need to choose direction yeah you need to choose a direction. You need to choose a path, either with a person or alone, or regarding a business opportunity, regarding love. We'll see. Yeah, you've got the rider as well. News and messages coming in. Let's we can see with the tarot, Scorpio. What do you need to know? 
So, surrender to always being right. Pets, it's playing a big role. It's asking you to go for a second opinion. Okay, so it can be regarding a home situation or this is what you want. Happy home, happy family, happy cat, happy dog. And we've got the pets here. Um, you need to possibly choose a new direction. You need to move. You need to travel. Um... There might be a Gemini Libra Aquarius person that is playing a significant role or that's going to supply you with messages. But you've got the devil. Now, this is desire, addictions, um, a codependency. It can be a Capricorn person. There is some sort of desire or something there. You currently have two fives. You've got the five of wands, the five of pentacles. You are up in your head. You are feeling abandoned. You are feeling lost. You are feeling competition. You're feeling like conflict regarding a love opportunity with the Knight of Cups. You are overthinking something. You are overthinking a situation, I feel. Overthinking and contemplating. What is this great fortune and this high honor about and for Scorpio? Okay, it can be regarding a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn person or a fellow Scorpio. This is stability or like I said, this is either, um, if you're currently in a love relationship with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, I feel that there might have been desire, too much desire or lust um, and it's caused you overthinking and contemplating and conflict um, in your current love connection with this Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn or a lot of earth in their chart and I feel that this relationship possibly can be saved um, but regarding this relationship being saved I feel um, equal give and take needs to be done towards this situation, this person, this current love connection if it's regarding a work um, I'm going to pull another card for the tower. I just want to, because this is regarding, it's asking you to have balance. A balanced outlook, a balanced set of ways, um, healing possibly. Two of cups, it's asking you to heal a connection with someone. Person that is stable, person that you've known. Who is this high on a person for Scorpio? This is a person that you possibly perceived as a high on a person, but this person possibly done you in, in the past, lying, cheating, deceiving you. And I feel you're going to receive a message regarding this. You're going to receive news, message regarding a person that you possibly perceived yeah, you see, you've got false person and I honor. Now, this is like two different people or this is one person embodying two sides um, that you possibly seen as I on a person, but they're not. Um, what is this clover about? New work opportunity, new job opportunity with the Knight of Pentacles. A new opportunity, new money coming in. But you possibly need to move. You possibly need to change jobs, um, change houses. That is the news. I feel you're going to get information about a person that you possibly put as high honor. And um, this person, you know, I regret to say they, they are not what they seem. Um, surrender to being always right. What do we need to know there? Um, in a love connection, Ace of Cups. This is longevity, long lasting, everlasting love. Surrender 
not to have an ego, surrender to, you know, um, not like the God says, not always being right. Um, compromise, agree to disagree in a home or family or love situation with the Ten of Cups. Choose a new direction regarding a job situation. For some Scorpio people, new direction in love. Um, move. There is some desire, lust. Um, this can also mean um, some sort of a sickness. Um, and I feel you need to get a second opinion. A second opinion. If you have got currently an underlying effect or something. And my disclaimer is I'm not a medical professional. Never been. But this card says get a second opinion. About a possible um, near future medical procedure. Tests. Doctor, but you are up in your head. I'm going to pull you now a card on this as well. Why are you overthinking and contemplating? What are you overthinking and contemplating? And then we're going to start clarifying. Regarding, I feel, yeah, you've got the high priestess. This can be a mystic or a medium. It can be you. It can be a Pisces. Cancer person that you know. That... Is a general energy. You're possibly overthinking and contemplating the situation with this person or regarding secrets. Um, but also it might be regarding time and effort and money you've put in in the past, possibly in a fire sign person. So the is Leo Aries or with a lot of fire in their chart, a boss. But if it didn't work out, you're going to receive another opportunity with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, but the main message here is for you, mid-month to mid-month, Scorpio is um, someone that you possibly had in high regard is possibly not in such high regard and you're going to receive a message regarding that. That is important to know. Regarding a love connection, it's asking you to have balance, to... Um, Bring love and healing into the situation. Equal give and take. Compromise. You're not always right. As God says, you're feeling defensive with the seven of wands. Regarding a current love connection. That's why you're overthinking and contemplating. And, you know. Um, so, you see. Yeah. I feel you've got, I'm uh, picking up with the other signs as well, you've got Divine Pairs coming out in the general readings. You've got the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. And a choice, a choice and decision that you need to make of two or three situations. It can be jobs, it can be people, it can be situations. Um, but a choice needs to be made between the two of you. Um, it can be a work situation as well. Yeah, I feel you might be presented with a new job offer, a new money offer, um, possibly with a um, Gemini Libra Aquarius, or with a lot of air in their birth chart. Now, this is a collective message for the Scorpio people. Um, I do feel that regarding this great fortune, um, it depends also where you are currently on your life path. Um, timeline you're going this great fortune this is a test it can be in a love connection it can be in a work connection it can be in a family connection family dynamic <coughs> this test regarding the great fortune this is going to test your strength of not having an ego and not always being right to come into union, to come into balance with either yourself, your masculine and feminine, or your work, or your current love connection. So, yeah. 
that you're going to receive very important message. And you've got someone that is not telling you everything or there's some secrets. Or this can be you, Scorpio. Um, that you're making use of your intuition regarding this person, this false person that presents themselves as I on a person. So your Scorpio, I hope I'm making sense for you. This is going to be, like I said, mid-month Jan to mid-month Feb. Um, please check out your sun, moon, rising and Venus sign to get a clear picture. And then yeah, if you are interested in your um, love readings, your Valentine's readings, there will be a link in the description box below. It will be called um, Ribbon. Um, and yeah, your love reading will be there. So yeah, take care of yourself. Look after yourself and your family. And thank you for tuning in. And remember to like and subscribe. I appreciate having you guys here. Thank you so much.